What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming Late Night Gaming Session here with me. Quickly guys, this video is going to tell you guys exactly how you can get to light 385. Now you can even get to light 387. Okay, now keep in mind I was going to make two videos. I was going to make one video explaining how to get to light 365 really fast. And then I was going to make one telling you guys exactly how to get to 385 or 387. But it's okay, I'm just going to make one video right now with both. Quickly, I'm going to tell you guys how to get to 385 light fast, okay? First off, all you need to do is really get it on one character. The next character or your second or third character can easily just have items transferred over and then you can just infuse those items in. So quickly, the best way to get to 365 light is to do SIVA heroic strikes. Just grind those strikes, my friends. Keep it going. Keep the grind going. Even faster way, if you want to have a little cheese in it, is get the do the SIVA heroic strikes. Get Omnigul as the strike. Now, as you have Omnigul as the strike, when you get to the two blues farm where you, you know, everybody farmed for uh, the Grasp of Malik. And as you guys know, I made many videos on how to kill her fast. This week, since it's Arc Burn, you just want to have two Arc Warlocks and one hunter that's a tether night hawker or night stock night stalker wow i'm really tired as you guys can tell but if you have that you guys can easily farm her and keep getting two blues and even more than that get a legendary drops and get your light to 365 now blues that drop will go up to 365 uh, if blue engrams when you decrypt them will only decrypt at 340 light it's unfortunate but trust me i've gotten like 300 and but they do have a chance to decrypt on legendary so keep that in mind and as legendary drops can drop higher um so pretty much once you're 365 i'm about 368 right now uh the grind is real for for me right now but what you have to do is you have to keep opening up vanguard or not vanguard per se but it could be crucible packages it could be your faction packages it could be vanguard packages it could be all these packages packages are the best way to get your light up that that way you can get your light up to 370 370 plus now after 370 the best way to get to 385 or 387 in some cases is exotic weapons exotic weapons have a chance to drop and whatever light level you are they have a chance to drop five light levels higher than what you are so for example i was light level 364 and i had an exotic uh it was the super bad advice or good advice whatever the hell that weapon's called it dropped out of 369 which was the max level difference five levels and then once that drops you can just infuse it so as you guys see here, this is my raid build for tomorrow. Uh, if you guys don't know, you guys should. We're going to have all the best tutorials for how to complete the raid. We're going to be doing it live with viewers. We're going to be helping people with Trials of Osiris next week. All the description or the description below has all the information you guys need. So make sure you guys check the description out. Um, but this is pretty much it. My Imago loop. Uh, pretty much Fate Bringer roll. Really good. It has Brace Frame here as well, which really helps out. Uh, I have the But Not Forgotten Sniper Rifle. Uh, you get this from the um, Archon Challenge, whatever, where you go in with the SIVA offerings. I don't remember what it's called, but um, you go in there. I got two drops. This one's really good. It has triple tap. It has Firefly, Snapshot, Armor Piercing. Uh, pretty much really, really good sniper. I'm going to be using it for the raid tomorrow. My speculation is Void Burn is going to be a big thing. Galahorn's there for Solar Burn, of course. Uh, and this is pretty much my build for my warlock uh, tomorrow for the raid. My hunter is ready to go as well. Let me know, guys, what's your light level at? How are you guys doing? Um, oh, and there's another splicer key. I don't know if you guys know, but if you really want me to, I could actually make a video on how to farm for those splicer keys and exactly what they're used for. I don't know if you guys know or not, but I can definitely uh, make a video for you guys if you want. Just let me know in the comments below. And let me know what light level you guys are on, what console you're on. And uh, I really hope to see you guys in the stream. Maybe we can raid together. Maybe we can do some strikes together, some challenge, some prison of elders. Another good thing to remember, guys, is when you're doing your packages, any kind of packages open up. If you have old etheric light, you can go to the queen at the reef. You can rank her up. You can get it. Um, even Eris Morn, you can rank up her by doing uh, the Court of Oryx. And that way she can rank up and she can give you some good loot from her packages as well. So keep in mind, just utilize all your materials, everything that you can to rank up. 
But don't waste everything, guys. I know Zer is about to come, so make sure you guys stock up and get ready for that raid tomorrow. Good luck to every single person watching this video. I really hope that if you guys like this video, you guys hit that like button. You guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And just check out some of my other videos. Maybe you'll like them. Maybe they'll help you out or they'll help your friends out. So anyways, good luck in the raid tomorrow, guys. Uh, definitely keep in touch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.